activated. Don't get killed. All right. Here we go. Terribly sorry, everyone, but one of your teammates has been kidnapped. What the hell? Saz has got to be behind this. That was way too clever for Albion acting on their own. The question's why. Well, they're being tortured for information about Malik, of course. I thought that was obvious when we saw that meeting where Emma Child said, and I'm paraphrasing, kidnap someone and torture them for information about Malik. Fuck. We have to find Malik. Bags, there's got to be some way to get him a signal. Sure, I've marked a location for you. In his eagerness to leave in a huff, Malik failed to encrypt his last message. It was almost too easy to trace it back to his safe house. Get to the point. Malik has a stick so far up his arse it controls his thoughts. By now he'll have noticed his error and moved. But there's no way he isn't monitoring that safe house computer. If we use it to send a message like, return our calls or we tell child everything, I'm sure the stick will compel him to listen. All right, give it a go. It's somewhere around here, but it will be well hidden. Maybe have a look for a slightly off-color brick or an inconspicuous lever. Hello everybody, my name is Tubusplat and welcome back to Watch Dogs Legion Let's Play and last time... We rat, we met Richard Malik, and now we're trying to break into his own safe house. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> One of our operatives got kidnapped, our newer glass cannon, and here we go, sticking with Gary, who's pretty much been the focus of the Legion, I would say, in the whole Let's Play so far. Could you give me a hand here, baby? Right. It seems Malik's made some upgrades to security. And since he's both a security expert and a paranoid lunatic, I don't know if you can handle this one. Well, I can. Haha. <laughs> Did you like that? With the drone? Pretty good, right? Thanks, Bikes. Thank you. Look, if we know anything about Malik, it's that he thinks he's much cleverer than he is. Which means as soon as I start, some drones or something are going to come after me. So just watch my back, all right? I'm on it. Ha! Drone bays. I knew it. Oh, come on, Malik. Make it hard, at least. All that big talk and security drones is all you've got, you hack. Oh, I'm Malik, and I think I can analyze Sir's dossiers faster than Bagley, but my idea of heavy security is automated proxy jumping. Please. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Lovely jabbling. Yeah, I really don't get why this has to be a thing that only Bagley can do because I'm pretty sure I could do this a lot faster than he could. I, I Again, I don't know why they made this mission the way it was. Unless... No, I don't know. I was going to say unless it was something with the human element, but I not even because it's like... You just got to defend him. It's like, why do I need to? I could just do it myself and do it faster. So, whatever. Aha! You just thought I'd get obsessed with the brilliant little details and miss the larger structure, didn't you, Malik? That's actually pretty clever, but not cleverer than me. cyber he used earlier set to repeat every 15 seconds good job everybody now we just have to convince malik to help us get our friend back very nice and thank you i know this is getting scary but you're all brave as fuck i'm proud to call you my friends Incoming connection from an unknown encrypted source. That'd be Malik. Put him on. You had better have a very good reason for threatening me, or this conversation will be very short. Emma Child picked up one of our people, and they know a lot about you, mate. Consider that. I see. As it happens, I've been keeping tabs on Emma. But I have a condition. The Semtex is still missing, and if I have any hope of recovering it, I need you to take Emma alive. Fine. Right then. Sirs uses construction sites to interrogate short-term arrests. They're isolated, and it's easy to hide bodies. And my sources tell me Emma just turned up at one. What's your point? 
If your operative hasn't turned already, that's probably where she'll have her. I'm on it. The longer your operative is in captivity, the longer Emma has to work on her. Find your friend before they talk and capture Emma. Good luck. This is the construction site where Malik thinks Emma Child is holding our operative, which checks out. Security is tighter than a rubber glove and a bowling ball. Grant. I have a call from Strange. This isn't what. Stop! You fucking idiots! Who would have focused this? Emma Child, director of Sir's Counterterrorism. You are making a terrible error here. You cannot. Get off my voice channel. Apologies, everyone. Took a moment to work out how they hacked us. No harm done. On the plus side, it seems Malik's lead was good. It's likely she'll keep her operative close to user's leverage. You should find her wherever you find child. I think this went a lot smoother this time around, because I think my first playthrough, I was... seemed like I was getting caught a lot more frequently, and I don't know why that could have been. That was great timing on that part. To explode it, and then get the other guy while he was distracted. That almost worked. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. They're gone. I could have left a fucking bomb in there. Do you want to know why I didn't? Because I like cryptic questions? Because we have something in common. Richard Malik stabbed both of us in the back. Watch. Albion's new policing contract has promised. Everything's set your end. Or it will be. First, you're going to tell me what this is really about. All right. I'm infiltrating a terrorist group called DedSec. I'm setting up a meeting with them, and your men will capture me before DedSec arrives. So it has to look real. They can't know it's a setup. <sighs> you are a piece of work, Richard. What the hell are you getting out of this? Dead terrorists. I can't prove it yet, but I think Malik was involved in the bombings and the cover-up. What's more, I think he and his conspirators are planning to do it again. Exactly what you said about you. You would. It's basic tradecraft. Want to sell a lie, weave it into the truth. And we're just supposed to trust you instead? I had something more transactional in mind. I have your operative. Help me kill Malik, and you get them back. That door will unlock in 30 seconds. of zero day impossible to say for sure but it does look that way we do know for sure that he's trying to set us up for the next attack you know how i feel but this is risky it has to be your call i don't take this lightly but i think we should kill him it gets our friends back and takes a threat off the board it's a good fucking move all right so how do we do this if you're seriously asking how to kill malik i have ideas a lot of ideas uh, is there any reason why we shouldn't just get him in the open and shoot him? Yes, that would work, but it's not very much fun. But you want to poison him, at least. We haven't poisoned anybody yet. Duly noted, Bagley. But for now, let's stick with the sniper plan. Noted. I'll contact Child and tell her DedSec has agreed to help. Huh? I have Malik for you. Remember you want to convince him to meet you somewhere public so we can install some air cooling in his skull. All right, let's do this. Do you have Emma Child? No, the situation's fucked. Can we meet in person? What happened? She saw us coming, which could mean she's got someone inside. We need to meet. Maybe Piccadilly? No, no. Uh, Piccadilly's crawling with Albion. How about Trafalgar Square? Bagley, what do you think? Trafalgar Square is optimal. Good, it's decided. I'll see you soon. He's disconnected. Suits me. Connect me to Child. I'm getting our friend back. Capital. Yes. What? Malik's school is dead. Bagley will fill it in. Now where's our operative? You can have them when Richard is dead. Fuck you. Give them back now or we're out. Fine. As a show of trust, I'll order a hot drop at a random location. I will not, however, 
waste anyone covering them. So get there fast if you want them back in one piece. There's our missing friend. Uncuff them and send them back to the safe house. All right there. It was a bloody nightmare. Although, to be honest, it was nicer than my flat. Had hot water and all. Speaking of. Fantastic. Splendid. As soon as they return, I'll be sure to issue them a pair of fresh underpants. Now, let's get someone over to Trafalgar Square. Emma Child for you. Good. I can see you. Let's go over the plan. The Canadians loaned me an office across the square so I can keep an eye on you. God bless the Commonwealth. So, here's what's going to happen. There are four snipers covering the angles. Here, 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 and here. Your job is to locate Malik. And when you're sure it's him, scratch your eyebrow. That confirms the target. Then count to two and duck. Fire team leader, report. No sign of Malik, Mark. Nice clear shot in this dead sick prick, though. Don't tempt me. Fuck. Where the hell is he? I don't like this. I don't like it either. Shit. I don't have a filament terminal in here. I'll have to request one. Bear with me. This will take a while. Could you give me a hand here, Bagby? Oh, if only every person in London was required to wear a piece of high-tech surveillance equipment. Start hacking optics, and I'll see if any of them caught sight of Malik. I'm on it. Not seeing any relevant video or photographs. Keep looking. Searching data exhaust. Nothing. Try someone else. I'll scrub their body cam memory to see if it got a look at Malik. That's him by the litter bin. He's either leaving a dead drop or trying to eat out on the cheap. What's going on here? Fuck. Malik may be doing his laundry. It's a technique for losing a surveillance team. If so... That dead drop has a second meeting location in it. Fuck, do you think he knows? I don't think so. He'd vanish if he thought there was a real threat. I'll put the shooters on standby while we readjust. going on here did you really think i could be outsmarted by nigel bloody Cass? <laughs> he recorded that meeting because i wanted him to it got to emma child because i wanted it to and now law enforcement has full profiles on all of you if you want to live and get on the ground and put your hands on your head no don't think i'll be doing that no no you, you misunderstand i meant so the shrapnel doesn't hit you didn't realize how tough the game got toward the end because that just again just in my first playthrough like i had an operative die during this mission because i was just struggling to like get into a vehicle and get the heck out of there but because then and I, I believe maybe i mentioned it in an earlier video that the reason i'm playing with this not with permadeath is just because it becomes more of a hassle than it is, than anything else so Alert on their Arctic, or 
his mind on the blink. Yeah, same here. What the actual fuck? It seems Malik wasn't bluffing. Your faces are all over the news, and not in a cool way. Fucking Christ! All right, Bagley, get everyone together at the safe house. We have to debrief. This is a message for dead sake. I believe Richard Malik is about to murder me in some gruesome way. If you see Malik, tell him... Canada House was destroyed by a series of explosions, and an individual known to be part of the DedSec organization was seen on CCTV attempting to flee the area. SIRS new Director of Counterterrorism, Richard Malik, issued the following statement. I call upon my counterparts around the world to treat the DedSec threat with all due vigilance. They are not a resistance. What are they resisting? They are an international terrorist militia. And along with my counterparts in the Five Eyes Nations, I am building an... You get the idea. You're fucked. He hit us, let's hit him back and make sure the cunt doesn't get back up. Yes, I wouldn't recommend that. All scenarios show DedSec's odds of survival approaching zero before he can be found. Malik probably worked out the same thing. Yeah, a couple of us had a thought about that, actually. Bagley, kick it. Done. The working theory is this. Blowing up a government building like Canada House would require bribes, an infiltration team, materiel, and so on. Doing it without leaving a paper trail would be impossible. Some of you nicknamed this paper trail the Malik Dossier. We're going to break into SRS headquarters, steal it, and prove Malik was behind the bombing. If we're lucky, we might even find some details on Zero Day. Your missions list has been updated. Hey, one more thing. I know Malik's currently our best lead on Zero Day and the bombings, but he's fucking dangerous. If you see him, don't try to take him alive. It's not worth it. On the contrary, I think what Malik knows about Zero Day and the bombings outweighs the well-being of any individual operative. Malik ought to be taken alive and interrogated. Oh. We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik Dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens scattered across the country what do we do well that's the million dollar question isn't it let's have malik take it sir uses a supercomputer called filament to process information drawn from the ctos network it's like noodle if you could use it to search every document on every civilian government or commercial device everywhere in the united kingdom instantly thanks bikes break in and connect bagley to a filament administrative terminal he'll do the rest as usual I did this in my first playthrough also where I thought I had to be going through the building, I think. But then, nope. <laughs> so here I go, just knocking out all the guards and everything. And then, just to find out, I do have to get onto the roof. But Or, no, I thought I could get to the roof without a drone. And I do. So, luckily there was that station right there. And boom, there you go. I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their MO. What are you talking about? I want DedSec gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. Join Zero Day. Fuck off. Zero Day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I value. What about you? Brevity. Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. That central server is Billiman's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. Well, 
shit, we've been locked out. Oh, and it seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Hang on. What? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Any ideas? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. Drones down, server room unlocked, and buggery fuck, Malik has locked me out. He must have a hard line to the server. Any ideas? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. Unplug it, and plug it back in. Got it. Close enough. Then there's this mission, which is very annoying. That again, just like with Bagley earlier, you gotta defend. Except this is a much larger space. The downloading takes much, much longer. And they stop when all like the downloading pauses when there's so many drones and everything. So, yep. Then I switch to my glass cannon and uh, go to town. So that's gonna be it for me in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video. And stay tuned to the rest of this play as well as the other future content. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll look at you guys next time. I'm fully integrated with Filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Get him. Alright, let's find you. Too old. Too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh, look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. So what now? I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberystwyth with Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear DedSec's name. At least for this particular thing. What about Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Did anyone have a good reason why we shouldn't drive that car straight into the sea? Believe me, I'd love to. But he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! Malik, 
Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. We know you false flagged Canada House, Malik. And we know you had a hand in the earlier bombings, too. Tell us everything. The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank. Even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power. And fast. So how did you know about Zero Day before contacting us? I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Yeah, we've been down that road. Meanwhile, you're rocked in here. You've done more than enough to deserve it. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are. Dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. Say, I'm getting the hang of fighting for DedSec, yeah? You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. What are you trying to say, Bugly? Yeah, he sounds like a proper prick, but deep down he's a soft one. <laughs> Good job. You'll like this. Got word from Hamish that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some nasty plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meeting's at the Drowning Post. 